Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Uh, let's do a couple of things in the NHL rapid fire here, Grant. First of all, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm reading an article from the, from L.A. and uh, Daryl Sutter talking about uh, Dustin Penner getting back in the lineup. <laughs> it was typical Sutter. Well, the reason he's not playing is because he's horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> so great. he gets benched That's and great. he gets hurt eating pancakes. How bad? Now he's in the doghouse. How bad can it be for a guy like Dustin Penner, who, if you remember, was the center of that whole feud between Brian Burke and Kevin Lowe over signing free agents and how betrayed trade he was when he left Anaheim to sign with the Oilers and you're going what's all the fuss now? You know, he had a great year yep. with the Anaheim Ducks and made a lot of money from that one playoff run that won the Stanley Cup. He didn't do anything in Edmonton. He gets a big ticket. He's not doing anything down there. What I hear he's a great guy yep. and a good sense of humor. He's turning that pancake you know, absolutely back yep. into a positive. I yep. guess he's doing charity work down sure. in Los Angeles where he's he brought all these kids from, uh, from from impoverished neighborhoods. Big pancake breakfast. Oh, that's awesome. And he's raising money. So I feel bad for the guy that, uh, you know, Daryl Sutter, he's with Daryl Sutter. Can they trade him? I don't think so. I don't yep. know why a team would want him unless they unload him and teams pick up that contract to get rid of somebody else. Talk about some of the Flames prospects coming up, Grant. Uh, we talked about Birchie down in Portland. Uh, what's, what's the, what, what kind of sense are you getting from the season he's having? I heard he's had a great season. He was hurt for a while. If he wasn't hurt, he'd be just dominating in the points. But I think it's in the last two weeks he's had points in every game. I think he's averaging over two points per game. So Sven Berchie's on a very good team with the Portland Winterhawks, so he is a great prospect first round draft pick last spring. The other guy, Mike, though, right now is the uh, Western Hockey League Player of the Week, Michael Furland. Um, he plays the Brandon Wee Kings. And this guy, I was talking to Kelly McCrimmon. He's the general manager of the Brandon Wee Kings, former coach, Brad McCrimmon's younger brother. And um, I said, can you give me anything about Furland? He goes, tough, <laughs> tough. Yeah. He can beat up and he can hurt people. He is a tough hockey player so he he's still in junior yeah. um, he didn't make the world junior team for team Canada though he was invited to the 41 man development camp um, I don't know when he's gonna be with the Flames Mike but I guess they've got a great forward who can be I don't know second third line something like that but it's tough. I'll tell you a funny story about him. Scott Orban, who's the pro out at Mackenzie Meadows, his Golf? yes, his son plays for the Vancouver Giants, and he's a young player that gets in and out of the lineup. Now uh, he went to Brandon to watch a game, and uh, he said this Furlan is just not only is big and tough, he knows how to fight, and the, the, the Vancouver Donnie Hayes sent the tough guy out, and he said this guy caught him. Mike, with the, you know, you know, guys fight and they, they, they'll hold back. This guy knew everything. He, he caught him with an uppercut under the chin and broke his jaw. This, Furland broke uh, this, Urban? Yeah, this, no, not Scott's kid, this other guy from Vancouver, oh, the, the tough, tough guy. guy. And he said, that's what an impact tough guy this guy is. Now, let me ask you this. He's about 6'2", or 6'2", yeah. and, two and fear, well over 200 pounds. Puts the fear of God into people in the, in the dub. So there's two prospects from the Flames that are going to make an impact on this team down the road. When was the last time the Flames had a legitimate tough guy? Well, Daryl Sutter brought a guy in every year. He had Brian McGratton. He had Eric Goddard. Okay. Uh, Craig Cox. But could play. <laughs> but could play. But could play. I can't think of one. Yeah. Nick Fatiu, I don't know. <laughs> well, those are, those are interesting years, Grant. I mean, because he had to have something. Can you to, think of to, one? To battle. No, no. A legitimate McGrat tough McGratton bounced around, you know. No, but he's just a goon. Yeah, that's all he was. You're talking about a tough guy that can, that can play. That can and, play. And, and, and from what I understand, Michael Furland can play a little bit. Yeah. He's not going to be a top six forward. No. He'll be a top nine forward. Yeah. And, 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 Other than Tim Jackman, I guess. Uh, yeah, Tim Jackman's yeah. a pretty good guy. Yeah. A pretty good example. Yeah. I mean, would, would you keep Tim Jackman next year as a free agent? Yes. Yes, so would I. Absolutely. Who else would you keep? Who would you, who would you keep? From the Flames right now? Yeah. 
Resign Jokinen. I would resign Jokinen. Yeah. Uh, Sarich, no. Uh, hope, hopefully, somebody could uh, take off stage, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But uh, I would say Jackman Send is your Send him on that one. European trip and never come back. <laughs> Jackman and Jokinen are your two top RFAs, uh, unrestricted free agent, UFAs, that have to be re-signed. Yeah. <laughs>